Hi, and welcome to Excel Video 275. I'm Nate Moore. I'm helping a group with their compensation formula, and because we can pull data out of their practice management system and put it in pivot tables and do some pretty detailed data pulls out of their system, we can do all kinds of things with a physician compensation formula that would be very hard to do if we didn't have access to all the data. When you're ready to tweak your physician compensation program and really get to the data, let's talk. I have a really a, a, a fast shortcut that will save you a ton of time. Let me show you what I'm doing and what I used to do and then how fast this shortcut is for you using Go to Special. If I've got a list of in and down 500 uh, physicians, let's say these are rendering physicians out of my PM and my EMR says this is the physician that rendered it and what I want to do is go down through here and quickly look for differences and say, all right, this is Flores and Flores. Look, here's a difference. I want to capture this difference because the EMR thinks somebody different than the PM did this. What I used to do was write a formula out here that did something like exact, and I'd look at this and this, and then once I knew that, that those were true, then I'd go find the ones that were false, and I'd conditionally format or put them in a table and sort and filter or whatever. I jumped through a bunch of hoops to find where column A is different than column B. There is an easier way and go to special. What I'm going to do is shift in and down, select all 500 rows for these two columns. We we'll just scroll on back to the top. And then I'm going to go to find and select, go to special, and I'm going to choose row differences. It works for columns as well, but we're going to do row differences and click OK. So immediately, see how I found Dr. Flores there? And then as I scroll down through here, oh, look, there's one. Most of them are the same, most of them are the same. Oh, look, there's two. You see how fast that was? I didn't have to write a formula. I didn't have to use another column. I didn't have to then conditionally format or find or whatever else. And again, they're selected. They're not just found, they're selected. So if I want to hide all those in bright yellow, now I don't have to select them anymore. I've got all these that I need to go through and audit and say, hey, how come the MR says one thing and the PM says another? And again, what did I do? Just highlight the area I wanted to look in do find and select, go to special, and, and row differences. This works if you have multiple uh, columns out there too. If I had A, B, and C, and I wanted to look across all three, my exact formula starts to get a little more complicated, no problem. If I do this, if I do go to special, it'll find row differences all the way across the row and make sure everything stays the same. It's a great quick shortcut to find differences between column A and column B as row differences, or you could um, come over and find column differences and say, hey, instead of A being different from B, we can look at, hey, is row one different than row two, different than row three kind of thing. Quick and easy, go to special, we'll find those for us. It's a great shortcut and a great trick. If you're used to digging around looking for differences between one set of data and another, boy, that's a fast trick and an easy way to do it in Excel video 275. Thanks for watching.